What is up guys, The Real Damon Jackson here. And uh, today, I want to show you something really cool. My Geiger counter is going off. And that is because... Trinitite. Um, what Trinitite is, is um, it's atomic bomb glass. So, it was formed by the first atomic bomb in 1945 during the Trinity test. So, uh, you can see it. I don't know if my camera res is good enough, but you can see that it has kind of a green tint. And that's because of all the things that got melted into the sand. Um, the reason for its radioactivity, well, obviously, uh, a small amount of fallout and, um, the neutrons were hitting things inside the bomb, which would make things like, uh, cobalt-60, which is radioactive, so it has a tiny amount of cobalt-60 and other byproducts inside so uh my counts per minute in this room is usually like 15 13 maybe even less than that and when you put this next to it by the way i did an interesting modification i i took my plastic welder and uh what i did to this gmc is i um, cut it. I know it's not very aesthetically pleasing. I tried to actually smooth it out, but I made it so the tube is exposed, so it's more sensitive to things like a weaker beta and um, other other stuff like that. Weak gamma that can't really get through plastic or this type of thick plastic. So once we put this trinitite next to it, remember it was eleven. We got up to like 60. If you leave it there, it gets up to like um, like 63 counts per minute. See, it's already climbing. Uh, so it's obviously radioactive, and it's real. It's from United Nuclear. And uh, their measurement was about 1,000 counts per minute. But this is because, uh, well, they measured it at point blank. So I do actually have some shielding because of the glass. And I don't really want to take it out because it could flake off and could get fallout on your fingers and in your stuff and your food. But, um, see, it's like, ooh, it's up to 70. Yeah, I've got it up to like 1,000 before, but um, I don't really want to take it out yet. Maybe in a future video, and I'll measure it point blank. But, basically, yeah, that is, that is nuclear bomb glass, which is really sweet. 85, let's see if it'll hit 100. 0.5 microsieverts per hour. Yeah, so basically the fireball from the explosion wafted a bunch of sand into the air and the sand melted inside the fireball then the fallout mixed in with it the, the dust and things not, uh, the metal particles mixed in with the sand and after the explosion it fell down to earth and created trinitite. I think Australia has a version of this, but I'm not entirely sure, and I don't want to say anything uh, inaccurate. Yeah, see, it, it stays like, uh, I don't know. There's ups and downs because it doesn't decay evenly because it's not a, it's not a chunk of anything really. It's just, uh, just, it's not a really equal terrain. Like if you were to have a piece of, um, let's say uranium-238, it's going to be decaying everywhere. But this only has, it's, it's mostly sand and particles of decaying things. So there's going to be like an area of um, high decay and low decay, etc. And decay products decaying into their daughters and things. In fact, you could probably use a trinitite or other atomic bomb glasses out there as um as like a periodic table 
uh, representation of something like fermium or Einsteinium or something that only forms in a nuclear bomb, which I think would be pretty interesting. If you had enough of this stuff, I think it'd be also cool to maybe melt it down yourself. See, now it's back in the 80s. Um, so that's pretty much it. So, uh, one second, I'll go get the certificate of authenticity to show you. Alright, so there's my certificate of authenticity. As you can see, oh well, it emits a lot of alpha particles, and that's probably what gets, um, their Geiger counter up to a thousand. So it's signed by Bob himself, and, uh, yeah. It is authentic Trinitite. So, uh, I'll say it again, you can tell that it's slightly green. I'll pull it up to the light. Anyways, watch, like, comment, and subscribe, and, uh, it is goodbye. Don't forget, uh, to hit the bell, because with new YouTube policies, subscribing is kind of useless now. But if you subscribe and hit the bell, you'll get notifications for every video that I make. So, yeah, I hope you had a great day, and I will see you in the next video.